Welcome everyone. Today's video finds us standing over here in front of another beautiful temple. We are in front of, it's a fairly new construction. It was built in 1993. It is Wat Tat Makawa Nakom, I think. I, I'll put it, the name on the, the screen. Anyway, this temple was built in 1993, but it was built on the rubble or the ruins of an older temple that was built in 1767. This temple was built back in the old days and then uh, the riverbank, the Mekong River, which is just to the east of here, uh, the bank collapsed and it caused a flood and a lot of, uh, like, I guess like an epidemic that killed all the people in this area. And it was abandoned and then they rebuilt it and then it was abandoned again. And then they came back in and they rebuilt it again in uh, 1993 for the King, King Rama IX's 50th anniversary on the throne. So we're gonna take a look around here and see what everything is. The temple grounds itself is quite beautiful. Back over there, there's a little lake and then there's a Buddha meditation center for high school kids. And then you come in one of the four gates that are on the cardinal directions has this low wall. And you come over here and you get to see this striking chetty that is 50.9 meters tall. It is colossal. And it has the seated Buddha here. Then it has these, uh, the giant that ate the moon, that little uh, mythical uh, creature. And then it has three Naga on the corners of it, or five Naga. You see they're right there. And then another group of Naga over there. And then you see the styling on the front it has all the gold and the white. It is quite nice. Yeah, it's a new construction and it's similar to some of the others that you see in this area. They have a Lao style to it, which gives you the long, elegant uh, chetty. And you can see the figures that are on each level of it. And then it goes up and it has that little umbrella up there at the top. But what a cool picture here. So you got the Naga here and then the chetty. And let's take a look in here. Now they have uh, just these marble tiles out here. So people come and they walk around the chetty. And here's another Buddha image. And it has like the Naga up there on the top. And it has like the elephant. I thought over here would be the monkey, but it's another elephant. You can see. It's the play pose, which I call the utong, with the one hand up, one hand down. And usually it'll be a monkey and an elephant giving it a offering. Here it's just two elephants. And you can see another little umbrella. And then it has this hall right here, this ordination hall. And you can see the Garuda. And then put that little glass mosaic on the front. It has like the little wall. It has the bells on the corners. Yeah, this is quite nice. So it looks like here you can go underneath. It has the two, the two guardians right here. And then you can go in this little part of it right below the chetty. Oh, this is nice. Oh, it has some uh, more Buddha images down here. Okay, so here is that same style of Buddha. And here's the elephant and the monkey giving it the donation. And you can see the locals are in here taking pictures also. It has a red and gold ceiling with the chandeliers. Yeah, this is cool. I didn't uh, know you could come underneath it. So it has the scenes of the Jataka, it looks like here. The story of the Buddha 
but it's not in a mural painting. They have these, uh, just the figures in gold. And it has it written down there in Thai. And some more images. Yeah, they have these fans set up to keep it from getting too humid in here. It's been raining, so they probably have a tough time keeping the water out. And we are right next to the Mekong River. It's right on the other side of the road that you come down to get into this temple. So the water table is probably really, really shallow. A little reclining Buddha in the, the dead pose. And then here is this one. So they have the, the prayer wheels or the wheel of law on all the walls. And they have four Buddhas here. You can see the styling above the Buddhas. And there's four on the cardinal directions. And then it has the little angels around the bottom. Yeah, this is quite nice in here. So this is the fourth Buddha image here. Looks like they have some stairs you can go up. It's a little different pose with the hands like that. Yeah, this temple is quite beautiful. This chedi is amazing. You can see all the low walls and these gates. Okay, so we're done in there. Let's come out here now. Let's go in that little building. So you can see this gate. Now it was kind of cool. I was uh, talking to a monk. It surprised me and uh, he came up and he said he's from Laos. And he came to Thailand to study. He's studying English at the university. And he's been a novice monk at this temple for a month now. And he said that there's a total of three of them that are from Laos. It's just right here across the river, so easy for him to come in. Okay, so here is the hall. We'll go in there and look. Here's the ordination stones. And then they have a statue of like the monk. So right over there is that chetty. And then here is the ordination hall. It's quite big. It's two story. It looks like it has a lower level down below here. It has the bells that you can come and ring. And then it has the upper story. And then these are the ordination stones. So they have them right here. And they usually have these balls that are buried down below the ground. But at this temple, they have them sitting up here so people can come and stick the gold leaf on them. And then they have some more back over there. And then they have just kind of a nice little park around this temple, lots of shade trees. And there's the road right there. And the Mekong River is right past that uh, power pole right over there. And then we have uh, some more of the temple buildings over there. This is a working temple, so there are the monks, there's the crematorium, there's everything. We have a shrine over here, and then we have a little shrine here with the deer and the, uh, the prayer wheel. All right, let's go up and see what it looks like inside of there. So they have the Nagas here on the rail. Let's see what the inside of this big hall looks like. And it's quite cavernous. So it has the high threshold to come in. And it has just a white walls, white ceiling. It has the columns with the gold on the top. And it has some, this is the door, it has some figures carved into it. And then over here are the important things from this temple. And they have some cabinets and all that here with it. And all the little shrines. Now this temple is supposed to be important for people that were born on Wednesday at night. That's a special time. I'm not sure what the, uh, the tie is to it, but uh, there's something that the Thais believe. So you can see the Buddha image here is in front of that blue curtain. And this is all the shrine around it. All the flowers and the fans for the monks. It's probably an important guy here from the Kong Phnom, Rama 9. And then you can see the Buddha image has the umbrella up there, and then a big candle. And over here is the, the throne, has their little Buddha sitting on top of it. 
yeah, it's nice enough. And then another little cabinet with some of the artifacts here and over here. You can see some more of the Buddhists all lined up. So you can see the tusk is carved. Here's some more of the relics. And has a whole little cabinet full of them. Okay, so let's go into the lower level down here. Looks like a place down here for uh, meditation and all of that. So we have a, one of the monks over here. You can get a blessing from him. And then you have the fans. You can hear the bells ringing outside. And they just have all this stuff kind of strung about in here. So here's the Buddha images and the little shrine. And this is all the fabric that they tie around the chedi cushions for their ceremonies, all that type of stuff. Candles, Joe sticks, and those bells really ring down here. The bells are right outside. They just have these little round portal looking windows. All right, so we saw this, all of this in here. One last look here. This is that ordination hall. And then you can see the styling of it. And then right over there is that big, huge chetty. So it's just shy of 51 meters tall. And that's the main highlight to come here and see that. And it's kind of cool. You can go down there in the bottom. Then they have all the auxiliary buildings and chickens running around. There's a chicken over there by the bathrooms and the crematorium, all the normal stuff that you see. So that's gonna finish up a pretty quick little video over here in Nakom Penom. This is